Hello guys, welcome to Bed Wars 4s, uh, where we, uh, do 4s. For... Let's just get into it, boys. Let's just jump into this video. I'm so funny. I like to have my shears. I cannot play Bed Wars without shears. It... I like to play Bed Wars with shears. Like, look at this. It's so fast. And people usually just spam wool anyway. Can I actually get the bed? We did it, teammate! Teammate, you're good! Come on. Oh, did I get him? Did I get him? No, yes! We did it! We need to, we need to give this guy some good uh, words of encouragement. I, I forget which teammate it was, but he was good. He was good. Okay, it's just us in blue. This game has gone by fast. Can I get this guy? I don't know if I can get this guy. Okay, yeah, what I thought. They're pretty good at PvP. Which only means one thing. It means that we have to be better at PvP if we're gonna defeat these guys. Because they may have skills, but we have friendship, alright? We have f friends and also lackluster teammates, okay? Okay. We're going in, boys. We need to teach these guys a lesson. If they're already incoming, well then, too bad for them. Where, where are they? Where are they? I need to find all of them. I need to find all of them. Oh, there they are. Okay, I'm gonna come in this way. Teammate, distract them. Die. Die, 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 die. No. <laughs> yeah, you go get green. Oh, wait. No, oh, blue just fell into the void by himself. Okay, well, then we can go get green. Hey there. See you later. Woo. We did it, boys. That was fun. Why was that so fun? I have What? <laughs> what even? <laughs> that was quick. Kind of. Alright guys, so here is a, a game of fours, uh, number two. I was actually gonna make this, this video about something. I was, you know, gonna like talk about something until I got interrupted by that hectic game last time. My goodness. It might have not looked like craziness, but it was craziness to me, alright? I was just, you know, it was a good team that we were facing, and... It was all against us, and we were like, we we're going in. We we're about to, we we're about to win. It was, you know, and then we did win. So that was, I was, I was just, oh, craziness. Anyway, what I was gonna talk about is butterfly clicking. Can you hear this? That's butterfly clicking right now. I, I never thought that I would be using it because I tried it once a long time ago, and I was like, man, this is so uncomfortable. These guys are gonna be trouble. Uh, uh. I wish I had strength like in Sky Wars. Anyway, so you see there, I actually got like the first hits and stuff. That was because of butterfly clicking. For some reason, butterfly clicking just, it makes everything easier. You know, for the past year and a half that I've been playing Minecraft, I've always just been clicking normal like this. You know, it's it's been relatively easy, but also I, I could only... Click it, you know, six to seven CPS. Oh, where'd you come from? 
Wh why can't I click him? <laughs> okay. Anyway, so I've just been clicking like this, and I was always wondering, like, how could these tryhards get these hits in? Because they always say that, like, your your clicking method doesn't in affect your 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 PVP skill. Apparently not. Apparently my teammates are just dumb again. You know who would have who would have thought? Anyway, so I just I was like really desperate. I was like, man, I'm just not getting better, and I don't know why. Like everybody, even like bad players, can get the first hit on me, and I don't know why. So then I finally I was like, you know, I'm just gonna try butterfly clicking, butterfly clicking again, just once. And I went into duels, and I started going, Brrr. and you know, butterfly clicking comes pretty easily to me, thankfully. Uh, but I I just started butterfly clicking, and then I started winning. I had like, you know, a five win streak, which is the highest that I've ever gotten. And I was like, surely this can't be right. Surely I'm just, I'm just playing against bad players. Sure, surely this cannot be right. So I, I kept doing it. And even if I lost, I, you could still see that I was able to get the first hit or like actually get hits in and not be comboed into oblivion. Uh Oh, we're going to die. Come up here, teammate. Teammate, come up here. Anyway, so I just I just started, you know, it was it suddenly became s somehow easy. And and I was like, well, maybe it's just a bunch of bad players. It's got to be pl it, it's got to be bad players because I can't actually be this good. Cuz usually whenever I combo people like that, it's because they're bad. But then I I won against like good players like they're on the leaderboards i won against leaderboard players i was extremely confused anyway so then i so now i'm just i've switched over completely i'm like you know this is the way to go i just this is you know you can't you can't make this you can't make this up now i have to like relearn the mouse entirely because to butterfly click it requires you to get your two fingers on the on on the first key and it's it's hard it's hard to it's hard to do you know it's like relearn like i said it's like relearning the mouse entirely purely because you know oh no he's got the low ground why can't i hit him oh, okay because i have my third finger on the on the right mouse button now instead of my second finger it's and and I have to rest my palm on the mouse as like usually I would put all my weight on hang on usually I'd put all my weight on my usually I'd put all of my weight on the mat and I'd just use my fingers to move around the mouse but now I'm moving around the mouse with my palm so like my entire arm's weight is on the mouse so I had to I had to set my sensitivity pretty high just so uh, it would be nice, but it, it allows me to get smoother aim because, you know, obviously, because obviously it's, it's not just my little fingers grabbing it. It's, it's like, it's a heavy weight, which is my arm that's on it. So it, it's slightly smoother. You may not be, be able to see it because of my awful frame rate, but it's there. The smoothness is there. My goodness, this guy just really wants me dead. I have seven kills. Is that all just from this? What? I didn't press sideways! Hello, guys. Welcome back to... Wait. Anyway, so this is the third game. Let's see if we can break the Bed Wars tradition of of having two wins and a loss, and a loss in between the two wins this game. So maybe we can break it by losing this time. Uh, Four's games are usually pretty long, so that's that might be why this video is longer. If it's not longer, then it's I just probably decided to cut out you know 90% of of the content because most of Bed Wars Four's just running around getting diamonds, sitting in generators, and then a, a, occasionally getting completely stomped on by a tryhard team that's been bad lion uhc pvp legend since the age of one but yeah let's see if we can let's see if we can lose this game all right if we lose it then we can see where we went wrong and fix it or at least you know i can because you're, you're not playing i am but i like to say we because we're all in this together you know all my 20 subscribers by the way thank you for 20 subscribers it is it's a big honor 
because um, on my other YouTube channel, it took like, you know, like a year to get 20 subscribers, and I just got this in two or three weeks, which is absolutely phenomenal. Thankfully, none of my teammates have bridged to mid because we can use this chain. So, and one of my teammates has a cape, so hopefully that means that he's good, uh, but you know, you can never, it's, it's, it's Bed Wars teammates. <gasps> okay, uh, I guess I, I have become what I promised to destroy. I am now the bad Bed Wars teammate. No. Yeah, what was I talking about? I don't know. I, I don't really keep track of things that I'm talking about, really. So that's gonna, that's, that's gonna be a running trend in my videos where I'll start a topic, get cut off by something interesting that I see, and then completely... Uh-oh. Can I, like, oog, oog. Oh, that actually worked! What? <laughs> well, that's a new tactic right there. So yeah, for the next few videos, my I'm just gonna kind of be, you know, bad at bad at the game because I'm gonna be relearning the mouse entirely. So my reflexes are gonna be off. My aiming is gonna be poor at best. Everything is just <gasps> teammate. <laughs> Here, I, I need to I need to roast this guy. All right, we roasted him. Oh, this isn't looking good for my teammate. What? Where is this guy? Got him. Oh, there's a yellow guy. Oh, and a green- no, it's a green guy. My- don't worry, my teammate is just a boss. Can I get this kill, please? Thank you. That was confusing. Why is everyone going after me? What? What is going on? Oh no, is this gonna be another one of those hectic games? I mean, <laughs> whatever, dude. I'm just gonna bridge over here because I want more diamonds. Yeah, we're a person short, so we're gonna need diamonds to make up for the lack of person by giving us a, a armor. And it looks like our team is getting Iron Forge, which <laughs> is kind of a meme at this point, but I don't think it's the worst thing ever, especially that we have, you know, three teammates, we're probably going to have to do a little bit of camping, so if we can work all the way up to Emerald Forge, that's going to be, that's going to be good, because then we can just come in, you know, swoop in, murder everybody in their sleep, because we have invis. It looks like my teammate got diamond armor with his emeralds. It's not the worst thing, I mean, if you're bad at the game, then I guess it's a good investment, because you're going to be taking a lot of hits, but if you have that much emeralds this early, just, just take out red or something. Just take out the one team that that's kind of, you know, annoying. Now, what I want to get is Prop 4. I had a game last time where, uh, like, in this same recording where it took forever. Everyone was being crazy. Everyone was being, you know, it was uh, turtly too. Everyone is being, like, good at the game, but also turtly, which is always a bad combination because you can't get anything done. It went all the way until beds broke. Went that far. And then at the very end... Like, I had prop for diamond pearls, sharp iron sword. I, I thought I was set, so I went into this guy, and he just had, you know, 15 golems. That just destroyed me. I, I killed, like, five of them and got them down to half health. But golems, for some reason, they just pierce right through your diamond armor in prop 4. Like, it's, it's kind of dumb. Actually, extremely dumb. How they do that much damage. I mean, you know, I've never minded the damage before but when you have when you've like spent the entire game you know getting hundreds of diamonds just trying to get you know prop four diamonds and you finally get it and then you go up a guy against a guy who has 15 golems you should be able to you know get him or at least kill the the golems because that was that was annoying i i killed like 12 people i'm so done I, you know, I had like four final kills, 12 normal kills, I, I was just, no one could stop me. It, it also might be a, an issue with the, the knockback, hello? My internet just hates me, I guess. It might also be an issue with the knockback, I think, because I tried to run through the golems to get to him, but it was just a, like a wall of them. It was just a wall of golems.
This this guy is kind of slippery. Don't worry. Get him, teammate. Oh, he jumped up by himself. GG, dude. At least my teammate got the kill credit. What was I talking about? Yeah, the knockback. It it sends you like, you know, five feet away. Now, that's just a vanilla mechanic. It's just, you know, golems having ridiculous knockback. But like, can't you just nerf it? Can't you just let us walk to the person and like I because I could have gotten him if I would have been able to just kept keep hitting him like I tanked hits for a solid minute from those golems I could have I could have easily killed him if I could have just got to him but he was just standing there spawning golems uh, it was just so it was it was frustrating also, it looks like it's just us and green. Green is four, four team members. Four. All right. I'm getting a bunch of diamonds. I should just put them in the team chest because we already have got two. Can we get this? Heal pool, dude. I said nine diamonds in the team chest so you could get something good like prot three. No, no, dude. I, I should have obeyed my own rule of never putting diamonds in the team chest. It's always a bad idea. Heal pool is not good. I hate you so much. See, like, we have one good camper. Like, he's not good at the game. But he's good at camping, so that's good. He's also collecting diamonds for us, buying stuff like, you know, endless traps and heal pool and <sighs> iron forge. <gasps> and then we have a good teammate. We have a... Bruh. Who was it? G... Oh, Invis. Okay. Okay, we, we have enough to go in there. I'm gonna do the exact same thing that tryhards love to do to me, which is spawn golems. Okay, looks like my teammate is just, looks like my teammate is just a legend. That is okay with me. GG. Okay, GG. Twinkie face. All right, guys, that was an episode of me try, well, I, I kind of talked about the butterfly clicking for a little bit like the title of this video is like butterfly clicking it has butterfly clicking in it but i didn't really talk about it that much pretty much because i was just too focused on the game and ranting about the stupid guy with the stupid golems anyway i hope you enjoyed this video um of me training fours and it looks like it's followed the same formula as the last two bed wars videos so that's great um thank you for 20 subscribers in just like three weeks that's amazing. I love you guys. Uh, until next time, friends. Toodaloo. Whoa.